everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite figure review on the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2020 exclusive WWE Elite Mr. T action figure that we're going to dive into. Guys, we've got beautiful packaging right here. I'm super excited to get my hands on this. Before we get into the review, guys, i got to give a huge shout out to Mattel, the WWE Elite Squad. Thank you to Mattel for hooking us up with this figure for free. They sent us over this figure for free to be a part of the WWE Elite Squad and I just want to give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to Mattel for sending this figure our way for free to review for you guys and I'm just super happy about it. Thank you to Mattel. Thank you for the Elite Squad and thank you to the amazing community that Mattel has created for us with our WWE figures that we get from them. We love them so much and a huge thank you again before we dive into the review guys. As you guys can see here, the Mr. T figure is beautiful in this packaging so you guys know last year we got the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Macho Man. And since we are not having an actual event this year, you're not going to be able to grab this in person like you would last year. So here is last year's figure box. If you guys want to compare it, here's the Macho Man Randy Savage Slim Jim exclusive. You can pick this up in person at San Diego Comic-Con, but since it's canceled this year, the only way you could get this figure is when it was up for pre-order on EntertainmentEarth.com. That actually sold out, and they were doing limit one per customer. But if you guys want to get your hands on a Mr. T, you can pre-order it July 22nd at MattelCreations.com. July 22nd, MattelCreations.com. Do not forget that, but with San Diego Comic-Con exclusives and stuff like that, guys, you gotta take in all of it because we got beautiful packaging right here. You got Mr. T's chains. You got WWE Elite Collection right here. I mean, there's a lot of details and epic stuff going on with this packaging. On the back, you do get the black WWE logo here. At the top, it does open up. So what you will do is you will pull out this flap right here. It comes taped right there, so if you want to keep it completely mocked, they do have a piece of tape right here that I did go ahead and remove, but you're going to open this up. It does open a flap like so. You will then pull this part out, and then you are left with this beautiful piece, and it kind of reminds me of like a VHS tape, the way it's shaped. It just kind of has that VH, you know, the VHS type box. Right here it says Mr. T 2020 WWE classic logo there. Mr. T here. You got WWE first time in the line. This is the little logo they teased on Instagram. Over here, another WWE Elite Collection logo, Mattel down here. Over here, you got Mr. T, WWE, first of the time in the line, Elite Collection over here. On the back of the packaging, you get a beautiful image of Mr. T, another logo there. Down here, it says, I pity the fool. Oh, I pity the fool. If you'd like to read this little bio, you can pause it now. Down here, you know, they like to get a little humorous. Down here, it says, Mr. T, 25 points of articulation, warning, failure to purchase a Mr. T action figure may cause lack of coolness. Mr. T, pities the fool that don't be cool. Very sick. Love to see that. Down here you got another Elite Collection logo. And then after that, guys, you open this up and you see more images of Mr. T here on the left from, I do believe this may be different. These are obviously different moments. You got moments from the match at WrestleMania. Got his chain set. I mean, this is beautiful imagery. All the beautiful gold and jewelry you used to wear. Right here you have your front packaging window and it's like this clear kind of cloudy stuff going on right here and you will pull this flat back and then when you pull this flat back, it's like this little clear piece here that says Mr. T on it. You will finally reveal the figure underneath in its, uh, you know, in its packaging there. So you get a beautiful looking box. All of these great details. These exclusives with these great packaging is awesome, man. I, I love all the details that Mattel and the Elite Squad kind of put together for us right here. So you pretty much get all kinds of different packaging right there. But taking him out right there, here he is in the front viewing window. You know, I don't have to crack him out of a lot of stuff, but I am going to go ahead and take him out of this. I'll see you guys in the next segment when we have him uncased from his plastic case. Shut up, fool! Alright guys, so here is Mr. T out of his packaging, looking pretty good, man. I gotta say, when they first revealed this thing as the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that was gonna be for pre-order on Entertainment Earth, I was so freaking hyped, man. I mean, I rushed straight over there to pre-order that thing. It took me 50 minutes to even get the pre-order in. I was so happy to get one for pre-order. I mean, this is one of the figures that I was most hyped for this year. I mean, like, I genuinely think this figure could be on our top 10 figures of the year when it is all said and done. So be sure to tune in to MattelCreations.com on July 22nd so you guys can get your hands on this figure because it is looking like already that it is going to be a banger. I mean, just look at this packaging. Look at all the details they got. We're going to dive into them, guys. We're going to start off with his accessories and then you guys already know how the reviews work. We're going to run through Mr. T's accessories, run it back and take a closer look at Mr. T, get some looks at some... some, 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 some 
take a look at some comparisons, and then we'll run this thing through. So that being said, guys, let's dive into Mr. T's accessories. All right, guys, so out of the packaging, Mr. T actually comes with a bit of accessories for the figure that you get. I do believe this guy retails for $30, and I think with all the different packaging and accessories that you get with this guy being that first time in the line, being such an exclusive, I think that's a pretty daggum good deal for you guys. But coming out of the packaging, he does come with this beautiful cloth camo shirt, and I think this is the same camo pattern that we got with our Tomasa Ciampa. I'm pretty sure the pants are the exact same. Let me go ahead and grab my Sami Zayn and compare it because it looks exactly like the same print. All right, yeah, so you guys can see this is the exact same print that we got with our Tommaso Ciampa pants. I'd actually like to see what it looks like to put both camo shirt and pants on a figure just to see what it would look like just for poops and giggles. So we'll, we'll probably see about that later on down the road, but you do get this nice pop collar right here. You can pop that down. But to remove this from the figure, it is actually not as uh, easy as it would seem. You can't just slide it off because out of the packaging, he comes with his ring fingers. So he has two separate interchangeable hands, all right? On the right, he has a fisted hand with his rings on there. Just some gold, you know, uh, just some gold paint over his rings. You got the fisted hand with the rings, and then you have the mic holding hand with the rings that he comes with out of the packaging. So what you will do is you pop his hands off, and then on his left wrist, he has this gold bracelet. On this right wrist, he has his, he has this gold gauntlet with some nice details on it that is open right here. So what you can do is you, you pop the hands off, and then you will slide these off. So you guys can see here, you'll just slide that off, and then you will slide the jacket off, much like the other side. It came with this little, it came with the bracelet on there, so the bracelet was on there, and then you'll pop the hand out, you'll pop the bracelet off, then slide the shirt off, so it's a lot easier to do so when you're doing that. But I love the details that you got going on with this. You got some studs on this bracelet in a nice gold color. It's actually a lot shinier, it seems, than the rings that are on his hands, but you got these great gauntlets going on. We already covered the interchangeable hands with the rings on there, and then he does have the interchangeable mic holding hands that do not have anything on there, but they are the nice mic holding hands that we love to see. You know, if he wants to cut some promos on some fools. Shut up, fool! This is the way to go, man. I mean, that is, that is absolutely beautiful. Not only that, guys, but you also get this Mr. T weight belt sort of deal that does wrap around the figure's waist, as you guys saw, and you can easily snip it, just like we've seen with multiple weight belts in the past, like right back and championship belts. We have seen multiple belts. You got the nice bronze T right there with the red belt. Fits the figure beautifully. Looks really, really good. And then it would not be Mr. T without his gold chains. I mean, you gotta have the gold chains. You gotta have it all hanging down nice. And he, he is blinging out with style, man. They are all attached, but I love the stacked way they look. You know, they just plops right over the head like that. And then, bam, he got all his beautiful gold chains going on. Put that together with his gold gauntlets and his gold rings on his fingers. And, I mean, you're, you're cooking with peanut oil right there, Brad. But that pretty much does it for Mr. T's accessories, guys. So now that we've covered his accessories, let's dive into Mr. T himself. So getting into Mr. T himself, guys, you guys can see here with the head sculpt, I like what we got going on. I think it captures Mr. T pretty good. We will bring up a little comparison there. I will say it maybe looks a little bit older there. There is a few little wrinkles there, but I still like it. I think I like the likeness. I love the haircut. Very, very Mr. T-S. Very crazy. Very iconic. I love it, man. I think they did a really fantastic job on this sculpt. Going down into the rest of the figure, I like the torso choice they got here. I mean, I, I, I could have sworn that, you know, coming into it, if you would have looked at these arms, and stuff, you probably would have thought that they would use like the Farouk style torso that they used on his Target exclusive Hall of Champions figure. I thought maybe they would use that R-Truth Macho Man style mold or maybe even like the Bobby Lashley, you know, Batista style mold, but they went with the, the Mizdow and I kind of like it. It's like a leaner looking Mr. T for it. I like it. I think it works out great. You got the white wrist tape going on. We did already cover the mic holding hands. Into the pants, he does have his blue tights on with the blue stripes with blue knee pads with the white circles and white backings. Now, I do believe they kind of mix matched a bunch of attires for this figure. Of course, you have his WrestleMania 1 match with Hulk Hogan. Now, I don't think he wore this exact attire in that match. I think they kind of mix and match like a couple of things from like different attires, not only in the match, but some of his, you know, things he would have worn in the 80s and, and other appearances on different things. I'm pretty sure they mixed and matched. I think I did read up on that, that they did mix and match. Like, you know, they had some studio shots and then you had the match attire and then you had another thing. I think they kind of combined all those attires together to get this figure, which isn't a big deal to me. I mean, you know, ideally matching the moment from WrestleMania probably would have been the best, but I don't really care. It's a Mr. T figure. It looks great. I'm not going to complain about it. I've always loved Mr. T. Obviously, I didn't 
didn't grow up watching him, but I know who he is. I've seen him performing things. I've gone back and watched the A-Team. He's been in Robot Chicken before, which makes some funny references, but down in the gold boots, I love the gold color they got going on. I love the blue laces and the red laces going back and forth. The gold right here on the boots really pops off, man. It really does shimmer. It looks like these are actual gold. Like, they're, the glimmer on these things is fantastic, but all in all, pretty good figure, man. I mean, I'm enjoying it. If you guys were wondering if he was on ball joints, stupid camera's kind of going lopsided there, but he is not on ball joints, so if you guys were wondering if you wanted to do, like, I don't know if, what you guys plan on doing, but as far as articulation is concerned, I think he has great articulation, man. Like, he doesn't have the stiff leg problem at all. He feels really good in the hand, like, posing Mr. T around has been a lot of fun. I may bring this son of a gun to the pick fed, man. Don't be shocked if Mr. T comes up in there and pities the fool and wins the Revolutionary Championship on Vindication. But now that we have covered the Mr. T figure itself, guys, let's get into some Mr. T Elite figure comparisons. So for your Mr. T Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the San Diego Comic-Con 2019 exclusive Slim Jim Macho Man on the left, and then we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2020 figure on the right in the Mr. T, and I think it's really cool to compare these two because, you know, it's one exclusive compared to the next, and overall, I think I love the Mr. T more, you know, I, I, as much as the Slim Jim is so good and stuff, I, I love the jacket and I love the accessories and the attire is really sick, but, you know, this is pretty much a re-release of the Elite 38 Macho Man, kind of recolored some better accessories with the cloth jacket which is so sick i mean the snap into it with the with the slim jim accessories is too freaking sick but i don't think it could compare to the mr t man i mean this is completely one of a kind ish right here i love this mr t figure i think it's a must cop if you guys are into you know exclusivity and you know rare figures and collecting mattel figures if you're a completionist you gotta cop it man you gotta cop it mattelcreations.com up for pre-order july 22nd a huge another shout out to mattel for sending this figure to us completely for free I love Mattel so much, man. They make this community awesome. They make our figures amazing to collect. And if you guys want to get this Mr. T, I definitely recommend it, man. Super poseable. Again, there's so many different options. You can put it up mock. You can take it out of the box and have this separate box here. You can have the red box with the Elite Collection big chain logo. Multiple ways you could pose this thing around if you want to take it out. And, you know, I let them breathe, man. I don't collect mock really at all. I have a few figures that are mock, but that's just from fans sending them to me. I open all my stuff because I want to use them and pose them around and take cool shots with them possibly use them in the pick fed and so i i had to i had to i had to crack him out i had to get a review up of this guy as well to you guys because i knew you guys would want to see it but that pretty much does it for my review on the san diego comic-con exclusive mr t figure if you guys missed out on the entertainment earth pre-order that went up last week or a couple weeks ago you definitely want to stay tuned to mattelcreations.com july 22nd to pre-order your own another huge shout out to mattel for hooking us up with the mr t figure we appreciate a ton here over at the channel i would love to know your guys thoughts on the mr t figure I think it's fantastic from head to toe. I love the accessories. I like everything to do with it. The posability is much better than I expected out of it. But that's going to do it for the review. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Come on! I think there's some more fools this way. Mr. T, I think we have to stop fighting fools together. You think everyone is a fool. That ain't true, fool! See? Oh my God, you're right. Now I see. It is I that have been the biggest fool of all. You must fight me, but it won't be easy. I put up a- Shut up, fool! I pity that fool!